Whoa, whoa, you're going to have to settle down now. You're going to have to make like a slinky and pull yourself together. What say, folks? What say? Welcome back. I appreciate you coming back again. <laughs> Today's video, this episode, we're going to talk about the... What, did you ever see a... Uh, a guitar online that you really liked but you're afraid to order it maybe it was even a really good deal on the guitar but you're just afraid to order because you, you, you're worried maybe something's wrong with it or the setup ain't right or just you know something wrong so you didn't order it because of that you ever had that happen to you, you ever did that well, that's what today's episode's about we got a brand new guitar here this guitar was shipped to me I'm not going to say from what store yeah I don't want to get them in trouble or get demonetized or anything like that. Anyways, this guitar was sent to me directly from a store, a reputable one. And I thought we'd uh, make a video today and check everything. Check the nut action, check the neck relief, check the string action, check the intonation, pick up height, everything, and see. I know, uh, what is that, uh, Sweetwater has got like a, what is it, a 60-some step? I forget what they call it. I guess they check 60-some things on the guitar. I think it was 60-something. Well, this is not from Sweetwater, but uh, let's just check it out. Come on over closer, get you something to eat, something to drink, kick back. And uh, let's check this guitar out and see exactly how it arrived here from the store. If they take time to set it up. Or, you know, it's at uh, Squire Mustang by Fender. So, you know, maybe that's who set it up. The people that built the guitar set it up and the people in the store didn't do anything to it. Anyways, it should be set up. When you buy a brand new instrument, it should be set up, right? Well, they're not, always. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll check it out. Come on over. Let's get into it and uh, find my specs here. There they are. And we'll get right into this thing. Let's do it! All right. Uh, guitar sounds like it's in tune. I should check it with the tuner. It sounds like it's in tune, but I don't know if it's in standard A440 or not. Yeah, it might be just a wee little bit sharp. That one's on. Tiny bit sharp. That one's on. That's real close to it. It's about two cents sharp. And that one's good. Okay, so it's good enough. Now, I like to see, and you've heard me say this a blue million times, I'm sure. I like to see 16 to 18 thousandths up here at the nut or first fret action. So I'll just start with an 18, a 10, and an 8. I'm going to get down here where I can see this. And it is 18. You can hear that just barely skimming, skimming the string. That's less than 18 there. Second one's less than 18. The third is 18. I'd say the first and second is 16. You know, I've preached about that before. You can go to Gibson's website, probably Fender's, and they'll tell you, like on the first string, maybe 18,000, 22,000, 30,000, 36. This, that's all bullshit, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, file them all to where they're 16 to 18 thousandths and you're good to go. It's not going to buzz on any guitar. Now, on my electric guitars, I like to see 10 thousandths. I'm going to note down here about the 20th, 21st fret or so. And that might be 12. Might be 12 thou. Yeah, it is, I think. Which is okay, too. That's why I set my acoustics at 12. I just like a little lighter touch on the... That's it. Yeah. 12 thousandths neck relief. It looks like. That's just skimming that string and that's all so that's what it is twelve thousandths I'll leave that alone for now I'm not going to do anything tonight 
except check these things and just see how the guitar arrived from the factory or from the store actually all right picked it up wrong who would have guessed it the high E string at the 12th fret is exactly 464 yeah, wait, let me get over under the light. Yeah, 464, so that's the sixteenth of an inch. That's good. The low E string is 564. That's what I, I like that setting. I got my Les Paul black one set up lower than that. I think it's, I forget what it is, maybe 264 on the high E. So we got 564 there and 460. Ooh, that's just a little bit less than four. It's closer to four than it is 364, though. Very, very low action. Strings is rusty. They're brand new, but they're rusting. I'll set the guitar up. If some, whoever wins the contest. If they want new, uh, want to set up on it, I'll set it up, put new strings and everything. Check out, I can tell you, just by looking at these pickups, look how they're, they're cranked down into the guitar. Look at that. Wow, man. Nims need to be set way up. <laughs> they're cranked way down inside of there. I'm going to raise them up just a little bit. I'm find a screwdriver here that fits. This one might. Yes, it does. I'm not going to set these tonight, but I am going to raise them up. Man, they're bound to be just almost off the threads, setting down in the body of that low. Wow, that pickup's setting clear up, almost sticking out the back of the guitar. <laughs> wow, wee man. They still need to come way, way up. I'm going to crank them up some more. That's just ridiculously low. So there's one point against uh, whoever set this guitar up or put it together. He didn't finish setting it up and put it together. Those need to be higher than that. Look how much I'm turning these screws. Let me look at it. They still need to come a long ways up. I'm going to stop right there. And uh, let's check intonation next. i got to get a cord. And uh, I'll rearrange you there a little bit, maybe where you can see the thing, and we'll check that. Before we get started, I made a video about this one time, but I didn't demonstrate it like I'm going to do now. This, this is totally off the wall here, about guitar energy, losing guitar energy. Listen, can you hear how the guitar sounds? All I'm going to do is slide the headstock up against this uh, shelf here. Now listen to it. I want to hit the strings like that. Then I'm going to slide the guitar over till it hits the shelf right there and hit the strings again. Listen to the difference. Can you hear that? That's energy being taken away from this guitar, out of the guitar, into this, and it's going to change the sound. You're not going to get as much sustain, or you're going to lose a bunch of things. Tone, energy, volume, a bunch of stuff. Just want to demonstrate that. i got a video. You can search the channel for it if you're interested in it. Guitar energy being lost. All right, hopefully you can see that. Here's the first string harmonic at the 12th fret. Looks like it's pretty well on. Here's a noted at the 12th fret. A little bit flat. Second string harmonic. Second string noted. That one's pretty good. Third string harmonic. And third string noted. It's pretty fair. Fourth string harmonic. It's a little bit sharp. I'm just going to stretch the string a little bit. There it is. Fourth string noted. 
it's perfect. Fifth string harmonic, good, noted, that's good, and low E harmonic, here's noted. So for the most part, it's intonated pretty good. Which one was that? That one's a little bit flat. It might be a little bit sharp, yeah. I'll set all that up though when we set the, uh, the guitar up for whoever, you know, wins it or if they want it, whoever wins the contest. quietest channel I could find. It's got presets in it. That's got quite a bit of distortion on it. And it was the quietest one I could find. And the, the cleanest too. I just this first time I ever plugged this guitar up and the switch is backwards it's also kind of turned sideways if you flip it up I'm pretty sure that's the bridge pickup flip it down and I think that's the neck pickup it sure sounds that way let me check it here real quick sure enough that's uh Yeah, the switch is upside down. Maybe it's supposed to work this way instead of up and down. I don't know, but it's, it's not even working this way. It's working this direction, sort of like that. <laughs> and that's the bridge pickup. Normally up would be your neck. I bet it's supposed to work this way. That's the bridge, and that's the neck. Weird how that's set up, but that's another thing I'll probably change. It's tight. It's weird it would come from the store like that, though, you know. Anyways, that's what you, if you would order this guitar, that's the way you would have got it. If you hadn't known the pickups needed to come up, because they are way, there was way down. There's, they're still way down low. I forget right off exactly what the measurements are that Fender recommends from the distance. You note the last fret, then from the uh, bottom of the string to the pickup. I'm thinking 330 seconds, and I forget what the bridge one is without having to look it up. But anyways, thanks for watching folks. If you're in the contest, you got a shot at winning this guitar, and I'll set it up to your specs, and we'll fix everything, make sure everything is perfect on it, and that can be yours. <laughs>